Good morning, Notre Dame, and welcome to our first NDP Live video announcements for 2022. I'm your lead anchor, Martin Hammond. And look who it is, Saints, the Lawrence Gap. You finally made it onto NDP Live. Thank you, Martin. I'm excited to be here today and to especially be co-anchoring with you. For sure. So, you were really busy this last weekend with the production of Dark Road. How did it go, and what did it mean to you to be casted in this leading role? It was an amazing production, and we had the people from the Phoenix Association for the Holocaust um, come and join us for the production, and it honestly was one of the most amazing experiences in my entire life. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Congratulations. We heard that it was one of the best shows we've presented here at NDP. And a huge shout out to former NDP Live head anchor Bennett Curran for his talent directing the play. Go Bennett and the entire cast who did an outstanding job. All right, Saints, it's time to move on to the news that you should know. Speaking of drama, the cast list has been announced for our spring musical Cinderella. Show times for Cinderella are March 25th, 26th, April 1st and 2nd. To RSVP, follow the link on the scoop at ndpsaints.org forward slash the dash scoop. Attention Saints, the 2022 Arizona For Life March and Rally will take place on Saturday, January 15th from 9.30 to 1.30 p.m. Students will receive four hours of service. You can sign up and find more information on X2Vol. And if you are interested in doing the K2 mission trip to Tucson on February 17th through 19th, you can sign up now to reserve your spot by emailing Father Kurt. Serving opportunities doesn't end there. The popular one mission trip to Rocky Point to build houses will happen March 10th through the 13th. You'll be working with your NDP team helping to construct a house for a family in need. Father Kurt is the person you need to talk to if you want to go on this trip. And just as a reminder, second semester service hours must be approved on or before April 12th for seniors and May 3rd for all other students. If you're needing some ideas where you can serve, visit the scoop. It's time to pull out your calendars and make some reminders. NDP's second annual Saints 5K is happening on Saturday, January 29th. Proceeds for the race go to help spread awareness for teen mental health. You will earn Christian service hours and house points for attending. And don't worry, the race is a walk run so you don't have to sprint the entire 5K. Bring the whole family, it will be a fun morning. Just go to the scoop to find the link to register. Hey Saints, and Happy New Year! Coach England here at NDP's Bemis Field the site of our second annual Saints 5K Run Walk. This year's 5K will take place the morning of Saturday, January 29th at 8 a.m. Pre-race check-in starts around 7.30, so don't hit that snooze button too many times. This year, we're asking you to help us raise awareness for teen mental health. Participate in this year's 5K and help a teen in crisis. This year's proceeds benefit Amplify, a teen empowerment program from Not My Kid. This year's 5K course takes you loop around Saints Row and come missing NDP's beautiful campus. And I know you don't want to miss that. This year's costs are as follows. Pre-race day before January 29th, all general admission is $40. All NDP student, faculty, or staff is $35. On race day, January 29th, all prices go up to $45. So don't sleep on this one. So let's have it, Saints. On the morning of January, Saturday 29th, Let's all go for a run or a walk and empower teen mental health. So grab your favorite cousin, your best friend, maybe someone outside of the NDP community and head over to ndpsaints.org slash saints5k and register today. Because as we all know, saints are stronger together. I'll see you out there, saints. to give a huge shout out to St. George for earning the most house points for the fall semester. And just so you all know, during house time on Mondays, you'll be focusing on character building and spiritual formation, while Fridays will be focused on competitions. Due to this schedule change, NDP Live video announcements will now be shown on Fridays in your sixth period class. Also, Tuesdays and Thursdays, you will still be going to your grade level rooms for house, focusing on academic support and study hall. Saints, are you looking for some extra cash? Many businesses here in the NDP community need your help. If you're interested in finding a job, you can find NDP's job board in the counseling building. Go check it out.
Saints, it's now time for your NDP sports highlights. You're probably all thinking right now, where's Duke? Well, he took the day off from anchoring because he's been super busy training for wrestling. We're excited to announce that he took third at the Lions Club Coolidge Invitational Wrestling Tournament, and the team won their first duel. Go Duke and the NDP wrestling team. We're also excited to welcome the new girls lacrosse coach to NDP. Her name is Courtney Connor. My name is Courtney Connor, and I'm the new head women's lacrosse coach here for varsity at Notre Dame Prep. I'm excited to be here first and foremost because it's a great community, Notre Dame. Um, everyone is so involved both in sports, out of sports, and what I've seen so far athletically, I think the Saints are a sleeping giant. You know, a coach always has their own hopes and dreams, but ultimately it's what you work out with your team. You know, haven't had a chance to meet with everyone yet, but I've sent them an email and said, we're gonna talk about our goals, not just for the season, but for the future of Saints Lacrosse. And I think that's most important when you have value, when you have buy-in by each and every player on the team, then you're more likely to have success. And everybody being like-minded is super important as well. Well, it's all about culture. Obviously, you want to win, right? When you win, it's it's fun, but it's about developing more than that. We're developing young women into future role models, into young women who can go out into the workforce and feel empowered. And I think that's what athletics does for females. The Saints hockey team tied 3-3 three three with Pinnacle in a great game at the Ice Den Saturday night. Thanks to all who came out, including a group of 2021 alums from the state championship team. NDP scored goals from Tyler Tremoroli, Reed Gremlich, and Carson Curry. Our own Father Kurt even supervised the penalty box. It's now time for our favorite segment of the week, Saint of the Week. And you guys are probably wondering why we skipped basketball and sports highlights. And that's because we decided to include their news right here in Saint of the Week. Cactus High School tried their best to overtake the Saints last Friday night, but the Saints smoked them with a final score of 83-80. to 80. It was such an intense game, Lauren. They even went into double overtime. However, there was one player who really made a name for himself on the court that night. And that is sophomore Anthony Batson. He scored 47 of those 83 points. That's right, Saints. 47. Hi, I'm Anthony Batson, and I'm a sophomore here at Notre Dame Prep, and I play basketball. On Friday night, we played uh, Cactus from Glendale. They're the third seed, we're number one, and I scored 47 points. The ending score was 83-80. Uh, I see us making a, a deep playoff run. It's going to be fun to watch, so uh, I advise you guys to come and watch some, some games when you can. I think uh, a couple things that make someone a strong ac academic student at Notre Dame is just being prepared and actually working hard and doing all your homework and studying. Like some things that I struggle with, like if there's a lesson that I, I'm confused on, maybe I'll do some more practice problems or I ask more questions in class. Um, as a sophomore, like some advice I would give some underclassmen is like just be involved with the school and like uh, make an effort to know people and talk to people and just be friendly, you know. That is amazing, and we're so lucky to have you, Anthony, for the next two years. Congratulations, you are this week's Saint of the Week, and congrats to the rest of the team. We now want to thank our official sponsor for NDP Live's video announcements, Black Rock Coffee at Thompson Peak and Bell. Well, that's all the news we have for you for now, Saints. Thank you for bringing me on today, and I'll have to do this again before I graduate. Absolutely. We'll hope you'll definitely come back to visit us. See you next week, Saints. <laughs>